There's me commentating the uh, first five live pancreas on UFC Fight Pass. And uh, this is rare submissions number eight. Here I'm going against the 100 kilogram category combat wrestling champion. Snap him down. Ten finger guillotine attempt. He's trying to back out. Control that chin strap. He's slopping to his side, so I'll keep turning him there. Cow catcher or cement mixer. Cooking him with some guillotine pressure there on his throat, trying to elbow back, seeing if I can actually get a guillotine here before I switch it last second to the Cobra neck crank. So he was the current combat wrestling world champion at 100 kilograms. I think this was my first time going hard with him or first time going with him. Again, snap down. This kind of proves my... Uh, Front headlock enter the system that I filmed in 2014 really works the way I say it was, including realizing everything's about snapping down, going right away to a guillotine, or going through the arm through position, Schultz control position, which I have here, and I'm trying to Schultz choke him. As the initial position, controlling position, and cooking him. Amazingly, you see John Donaher teach that about four or five years later in his front headlock system. Mine was exactly laid out the same. Standing snap downs, ways of snapping the head down, to all of the guillotine variations. I showed nine, to then starting the Schultz choke position, including then going to this, the catcher arm through guillotine, which I actually first learned from uh, Rosemary Polaris and uh, Mario Bustamante. And got him right before the end of the bell there. Of course, that's planned. You see that in a lot of my videos, guys. Back at AECC, showing some cradle action here. And some uh, work in a pass. Using the reverse, uh, a toe pull here. A toe pull I made up, using that to mount. You saw an example similar to that in UFC um, with the uh, Stefan Struve used the reverse toe hold in order to mount. Something I've been teaching for years. Use these kinds of toe holds and toe pulls. That, uh, that, well, the reverse toe holds been around, but the toe pulls I made up, use them in order to pass. Passing to punching, punching to passing to leg locks, leg locks to passing to punching, etc. and so forth. Um, for MMA, or use them for passing. There you see like the half, kind of a half or whatever, and then I go for the Katagatami arm triangle. As I said in the earlier video, this guy was very hard to tap, very tough guy. You know, he was an old school fighter, um, and he survived the round there, actually. This is going with longtime judoka. I didn't say that in the earlier video. This guy trained 36 years judo with two-time Olympian Koga. When you train with two-time Olympian Koga every day, and then he traveled an hour and a, an hour and 40 minutes each way to train with me once or twice a week, um, you're a pretty dedicated grappler. Um, he was pretty good. He he came close to almost putting me in a electric chair stretch at one point, countering something I did. You double grapevine guard, hip in with that chin strap for the hip over, and I finished with a ten finger guillotine or five finger guillotine. But I could have gone with that reverse toe hold I was showing there on the from the mount, which you see in my ultimate mount system video. Back with the combat wrestling champion. I throw in the scorpion lock on the half guard, the lockdown. Then I switch it to the magic armless toe hold. My toe hold item there. Going with the judo guy, you see he pyramids up too much. He's too high with his base as he's trying to no hands pass there with his instep. So I, I, it's not just power. I, your your forearm's a, a, a post, right? You post on the hip bone and then take them over. The forearm doesn't bend. I mean, not much anyway. Looking for the katagatami there. And he taps when he knows he's dead. And I got shoulder pressure in his throat already. Back to the combat wrestling champ. Um, young guy, firefighter in shape, you know. Oh, by the way, this is just, uh, I just turned 40. So if you saw the earlier videos, that's pretty much when I was like 38, 39, the first seven. Number eight here starts for my ruling after 40. 
we're told here, I start smoking this kid because he actually really was disrespectful to me. Especially in Japan, though, it was really kind of weird. Uh, I was also the highest rank in the room, and yet they blue belt taught, and I'm a brown belt. And overall, I had a bad vibe the second time I went there. And this guy was, he said something really disrespectful, so I fucking cook him a bit. Crab riding on the back. You see, I do the back adjuster to everyone. That's actually to help them out. Give them a little free chiropractic session. I think I cradle here. Yeah. So I cradle here, which you see, then I lug lace that through. That's to set up my hip lock, guys. I know I have eight entries into my hip lock. Uh, fast forwarded here, I'm still working on it. And I got to get him flying on his back in order to get that hip lock. Slow control. And there's the hip lock. So we'll move arm bar. Flip him over. Work on the arm. Shijikatami. Top leg crossed on bottom, guys. When you're in a cross arm breaker. There's the knee pinch sweep. Um, not just on small guys. I did that at Bobby Oligan. Huge, huge muscular guy, uh, fighter in the earlier video. Knee pinch sweep. Leg hook guard. To Uma Plata. Slow his roll. Go on top. Cover the hip. And then your legs are the fulcrum behind the elbow. There's the baby arm or baby arm bar. Take him over with the sweep jelly. Here's going with the long time judoka. So I'm 40. I think he was 47. Got him with the standing elbow crank, but couldn't quite get the tap. I took him down with the head tilt. Again, guys, look at my bio, all my bio mechanics videos, my anti-catch tactics, um, my Yaki grappling video. Juju Katami. See a lot of arm bars in this video, I believe. Sprawling defended that takedown, looking for the Schultz control position already. You see my hand position, cover and follow the hips, take in the back, wrestling, 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 wrestle into submission. Uh, I included this because I like taking the back here and I throw a lockdown in on the leg from the back. That's something you saw me do in an earlier video to cause. I kind of, I kind of like that position and play with that position. Kazushi, go with momentum with the back heel trip there. When someone tries to judo throw you, you see me pull that off a lot. It's very energy efficient. Same thing as earlier. He gets way up too high, really trying to pass the haft. So you just brace on the hip and make a uh, post and, and take them over with the hip bone. People always think it's bridging power, but it's, it's really not that. It's just getting their apex. Their hips are too high and uh, controlling the apex of their hips. Just turning them over, going to mount, go to super high mount, pinching the shoulders together with my knees, tying the belt, looking for the juji nagi in traditional martial arts, juji nagi or the pretzel twist. A lot of times I can get the tap from this. You, just, you gotta watch the feet coming up and the armpits taking him back. Um, can't quite get deep enough on his elbows there. A lot of people would tap right there, but he's pretty flexible. So then obfuscation, magic, 
switch off to something else, and there's the Juji. Probably a lateral drop. Oh, watch his Ochigari. I'm gonna plug my leg out to the front. Some soft Jujis here. So there could be a quick arm bar there. See me the way I'm turning my hip, guys. That's the catch, the Udi Grami here, the Gene LaBell. Kind of cool, Udi Grami. Here I'm going with um, Suzuki, uh, former Pancrase champion. Lateral drop. Doing the Ken Wade MMA sparring here. Deed switch punch to single leg takedown. That's on a young boy. Butterfly guard, tries to hop over, use the pressure for back heel tri trip or dummy sweep from butterfly. Looks like a bottom half, got him locked down, karate chopping his ribs. Trying to elevate him, coming up, oh, he counters nicely there. I counter nicely. He counters nicely. He goes for the guillotine. I got to counter. Get out of that. Kick over. And now it's wrestling scramble. But see where my left foot is posted? That means I'm going to win the scramble to come on top. As well as my head is basically acting as an underhook, right? So I'm in danger of the guillotine here. I got to pass that foot. And I do in a side bow. Here, uh, doing a lot of Sambo, guys. Passing there. And getting the armbar there. Short armbar. Get some Kazushi going for the Sumigeshi. Pressure in, stopping that action. Another short arm bar. Because he was gripping my gi really hard, right? So he's locking himself. Kind of messed up there. And then Kazushi throwing with the butterfly over. So I walk back from the Ochigaris, the inside trips a lot, guys. And there's Osotogari almost at the hammer lock. I've seen that almost happen in a couple uh, UFC fights. Almost happened like that. My hand was ready to intercept. Look at my hand's first defense, Dustin Poirier versus Khabib video. Here's another good example of doing exactly that. Catch wrestling is biomechanics and knowing how the body works. And he's super flexible. I'm like, well, can I turn this guy into a pretzel twist? Headlock to the back, he's getting away from me. Pull the Kirka. Get the back control. I'll look for some a drag back kind of style takedown. Judica lateral drop against the Judica. me load his weight guys you see me load my weight another guy and then like a waterfall let him fall through it right away looking for the katagatami oh, using the head as a post there so it leads me into a top wrist lock hold it looks like Maybe. Yep. Uh, oh, I think I wrist locked him there. Because you usually want to get that half guard, right? You can, but 
Um, I think I managed to get his palm down on the ground and it became a gooseneck wrist lock. It's hard to see that. People think the people in my videos aren't good if they're highlights of what I thought were cool scrambles, but obviously they're giving me some trouble, right? And uh, there's an arm triangle from bottom lockdown. I have a video teaching how to do that if you're interested, how to go to your own head to hold. Yuri Kamome, I found a real entry using my Yadviga, Nadviga, the no arm Yadviga I made up there to Sakuraba's Yuri Kamome, baby bird, feed the baby bird, feed that baby bird. Hope you guys liked it. Please subscribe, thumbs up, share. And I'll catch you next time.